Hey everyone, it's Tofalolo again, or some of you may know me as Vanna. Wow, that felt really, really weird saying Tofalolo. I don't think I've said that name since the last time I've uploaded any videos, and I believe that was back in 2015. So time flew by. So much thing has happened since then. I believe one of my last videos was about me, um, my proposal story. I don't even remember which one was the last one. But it's really, really nice how I still see that some of you are still subscribed to this channel. But good news, I am going to be back. I'll be uploading uh, new content and uh, new stuff, but not so much on this channel. It's going to be on my newer channel, which is going to be called Been There, Done That, but done with my new last name. So yes, I did get uh, married back in 2017. So pretty much I'm just going to summarize my life the past four years in this one video clip to catch everybody up and introduce you to my new channel. In 2016, it was more about just me trying to finish up with school because at this point I felt that I was just in school way too long than what I originally wanted to do. Um, that was a big part of 2016, me trying to just get the classes done and really focus on what I want to do. And in this case, it was not so much nursing anymore. It was more of an you know administration role within the healthcare field, especially in assisted living and working with residents with dementia. So that was my goal. I added a minor to um, my school adventure as well. So that was more classes to take. But I've managed to get all of that done before my wedding. Also what was going on in 2016 was wedding planning. It was kind of stressful because I wasn't physically in Florida to, you know, buy things, prepare things, or even talk to my vendors and stuff like that. So everything was via internet, phone calls, Skype, and all that sort. And keep in mind that I did started working as a memory care director for a senior living company too during all of this. So during like my pretty much my last semester, I got the opportunity to start working for the position early. So I took it on. I said, I'll do it. So pretty much school, wedding planning, and just um, work, you know. I Now I have more responsibilities on my plate as well. So fast forward to 2017, now it was just pretty much getting ready for graduation and um, preparing for the wedding. So it was stressful, like I mentioned, just because it wasn't just an American wedding, it was a Thai wedding and the traditional American wedding, I would say. So all of that was going on pretty much between 2016 and 17. Thai wedding planning is not easy. I plan on doing a video on that in a separate um, clip, but it was pretty stressful. I mentioned earlier we did have two different weddings. The Thai one was really, really nice. It was very traditional. We had Thai music played, Thai outfits, and even the bridesmaid groomsmen. Everyone was dressed up, and it was a really, really nice time. We really enjoyed it a lot. Uh, went by really well, a lot of DIYing, a lot of DIYing for my wedding. Um, then move on to the next day, it was the traditional American one. That one was very, very interesting. Um, I think it was because it was on a Sunday and a lot of people had to commute or had to go back to work. We didn't really think that through about that. But it was still a fun time. We, you know, got to be with friends and family. And that's really what it really, really mattered to us. So that was pretty much it in 2017. We did go on our honeymoon to New Orleans and we got onto the Vans Warp Tour cruise ship. That was really, really awesome. I think that was, other than the wedding, that was a highlight of our 2017 year. It was really great. Like I got to see um, Simple Plan. That was like my childhood um, band pretty much. I got to be really close to Pierre, saw all the Simple Plan sets, and it was just a fun time. You know, in New Orleans, you can't go wrong with that. I love, love, love that place. It was really, really fun. So this is Millie. We got her on Veterans Day. 
back in 2017, right November 2017, after our honeymoon we decided we wanted to expand our family but not so much having a baby right away so we decided to adopt Millie right over here and she's been nothing but the best, right Millie? She's a one lucky dog. She gets to go to work with me and she was actually in training to become the therapy dog but we haven't really successfully done that yet. She has a little bit more training to do but other than that she is the sweetest dog ever. Loves to cuddle and yeah very very adorable. Right Millie? And then moving on to 2018 now it was just pretty much living life as a married couple and trying to move on to the next step. The next step being, you know, here we are, what do we do next? So what ended up happening was a house purchase. We decided to buy a house. That was a very, very scary decision when you come to think about it. All the things you had to go through, all the houses we had to go and check out open houses every weekend. That was, that was, yeah, that was a lot. But it was like, you know, it was just being an adult, I guess, part of growing up. So yes, in 2018, we did close on our very first home. It is a fixer upper, but it was worth everything. Cause I know that we had the really bad fires and stuff too. So all the houses did go up, the interest rate did go up. So. I think our timing when we did close on the house was perfect and so far I like this place and I can do a house tour with you um, in my future videos on my new channel so yes I'll do a walkthrough of how it used to look like before and after I think it's a pretty good investment when you own a property down the road let's say if we were over our heads on this you can just sell it and still make some money and you're not really just kind of you know, throwing money away like renting, especially California, it can get pretty pricey living out here. So yes, that's that. And then also one big thing that did happen in 2018 was once we were in escrow with our house, I found out that I was pregnant. So that was a double score, I guess. I don't know. That was made both of us really nervous. Because now our house is in escrow and we have a baby on our way and it's a fixer-upper so kind of made both of us nervous of the timing of things and how it happened so quickly but um, it worked out the house uh, was done the majority of the stuff was done within the month before we moved into it so yes back to baby story we are expecting our first little girl uh, she is actually due in two weeks yeah, so my expected due date is June 20th, so it's actually coming up this month. So we're going to name her Delilah Lynn Dunn and Delilah. So it is not from the famous song, I just like Lila. We actually had this name picked out when we first started dating, which was, who knows, I think back in 2012, 2013. So ever since then, we did have a girl's name picked out already as Lila and then just with the flow of names and my husband is into graphics and text and title stuff we decided to um, add the D to it now so it's Delilah Lynn Dunn it has a nice little flow to it and it's pretty lovely so that's the history of how we came about her name and I believe Delilah is also a flower and it looks really nice so I guess that is it. I hope you enjoyed my little life story and my update of my life and what had happened the past four years. A lot has happened, like I mentioned earlier. I am back. I want to try to upload, you know, more on a maybe weekly basis. I'm not sure yet of how often I'll do the uploading part. If you have any questions, comments, or even video suggestions, don't forget to comment down below. Once again, thank you for watching. I can't wait to upload my newer stuff onto my new channel, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!